Hello, I'm Adam Miller, co-host and associate producer of the RPM Show. Now, in this video, I will be giving a review of M. I. Shalomont's Last Airbender, which opened yesterday. Um, it is mostly for the 4th of July weekend. Uh, it's got a lot of competition, mostly with other stuff that's out already. And, of course, Twilight Saga Eclipse that opened on Wednesday. We'll, we'll get more of that for another conversation. Um, but, um, anyway, The Last Airbender is a rather interesting uh, movie. It's a... It's a definite change for M. Night Shyamalan, who we all know from directing movies like The Sixth Sense, Signs, The Village, and Unbreakable. They're mostly the kind of movies that are known for their really um, sus suspenseful plot twists and rather abruptly surprise endings. Um, now, The Last Airbender is a, is a definite change because he shows that he can do big budget, big effects, you know, basically a, the the ingredients of a big Hollywood blockbuster, which, in my, in my opinion, has has all of that, you know, has all those elements. But uh, in the long run, when I, you know, coming out of the movie theater, I must say that I have never been conflicted with a movie in my life. Um, this was a, I mean, not to say that it was that it wasn't a bad movie or anything, because I'm not saying that. Um, I must say that I was, I mean, from what I hear, this mostly because. It was a movie that's based off a Nickelodeon series called Avatar The Last Airbender, which is a, from what I see or hear, is a Japanese anime cartoon show. Well, I don't watch Japanese anime. I've never seen an episode of Japanese anime. But, um, so that's pretty much how I'm, con why I'm conflicted. Because I have absolutely no idea about, I don't have any, any idea about the whole mysticism surrounding this, uh, this, uh, movie. Um... But I will say that um, it is a very entertaining movie. It is very entertaining. It has a lot of very nifty scenes in it. Um, but in actuality, I still can, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. I'm still trying to figure out what, 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 what was going on. Uh, but anyway, as I said, I've never been conflicted with a movie before. This is the first time in years. I, don't, I, can't, I can't even put a finger on the last movie that I was so conflicted on. Um, but anyway, it's a definite... Um, family fun film uh it's very entertaining i think it's in line to do a lot of business this weekend mostly you know it's a holiday being a holiday weekend but as i said it's got competition going up against twilight which is going to draw humongous crowds of a certain section of um the human race i know i'm getting to, you know geeky here but anyway, but that's just that that's just how it's done um but anyway um that's this is actually going to be the shortest review i've ever done um basically because I'm still, as I said, I am still conflicted about this movie. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Or I'm still trying to figure it out. But anyway, um, if, if actually you have any questions or emails, or actually email me your thoughts and opinions on the movie. And actually, if you want to, you can actually give me a brief synopsis of what's you know going on in your emails. I would love to read that. It's Adam at the RPM, or Adam at the RPM show com. And, of course, go to our website, therpmshow.com, and ch check out all our other stuff on Facebook, MySpace, and YouTube. And you know, you know the sites, so, so go to them. Um, until then, uh, have a safe 4th of July weekend, and I'll see you in my next video.